what I'm going to do. What I hope to do. <laughs> is I'm going to dunk this in the water. And when I do that, this weight reading will go down, yeah? I mean, I can kind of show you over here. The weight reading does go down. Would you say this, that that loss of weight was equal to the support force? And that support force we have a name for. It begins with BF. Buoyant force, okay? So the buoyant force can be seen by the loss of weight. Can't read that now, but read it now. Read it now, subtract the two, there's a the buoyant force, yeah? All right. I'm going to do it over here in this overflow can. But I'm going to catch the water that's displaced. And I'm going to weigh it. <laughs> Whoops. No, no, no. <laughs> this is not going to be perfectly accurate, okay? But note now what the reading is of just holding, it looks like a little bit more than one Newton, holding up the empty cup. And <coughs> I dunk this in. This is losing weight, yeah? It's because the, I'm, I'm, bringing, I'm, I'm displacing more and more water. There, now this is lost all the way to can lose. This is still catching water. I want you to compare how much weight did this lose, the suspended weight, and how much weight did this gain? Do you see that they're the <coughs> same? And that brings us to a very important rule with fluids. And that's this, that the buoyant force that acts on a submerged object is numerically equal to the weight of fluid displaced by the object. Okay? I didn't say the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the object over here. No. It's the buoyant force is equal to the weight of fluid, in this case, water, displaced by the object. Okay? We see that? That's called Archimedes' principle. principle.